Improv is short for improvisation. I would say it's acting without a script. Free-flowing, just out of your mouth, spontaneous. It's completely on the spot. Not necessarily trying to be funny, but just letting it happen. Mm -hmm. Trusting the partner. It's bullshit. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's just so much freedom to be funny, to do whatever you want to do. It's pretending to be something that you aren't, but without the limits of a script. The improv comedy is the telling of a story that you make up on the spot. Now, LaShonda, I said your partner is <laughs> fine. Throw it to someone. That's Chris. That's the one ball you need. Bouncy ball. Bouncy ball. Thank you. Oh, Chris. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everything we do is based on a few given prompts, like a like a certain place or a certain character, like a certain thing we're supposed to be. We take it as we take it as it is, and we do based on what game we're playing, like a whole scene, or become those ca like characters and. Do a whole there was only one other person, so it was as if I was just we we're having a conversation. The person in the middle has to act like they are having a conversation, you know, with both and ask questions like, "Oh, really? That happened? That's that's important," and, you know, and and talk to them as if it was just a two-person conversation. Responsibility to his sharp used, plan um, to get it regulated properly because it is a little not make right? that mistake again. Now stand up straight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, this is getting weird. We should, we should stop. See, the best way to explain improv is like a bad movie. When you're in improv, you don't typically laugh while you're doing a scene. Yeah. Instead, what you typically do is like what they do in bad movies. They're so dead serious, but the situation exactly. is just, it, it doesn't just, make sense. It's just borderline absurd. You really, you really do learn to trust the people you're on stage with because you put yourself in a situation where there's no script and there are people watching. So you have to, um, it's great when you're close with the people that you're with because then you trust that whatever happens, they're going to support you and not judge you. Yeah. So that's and amazing. I walk yes, up so this just follow me right over yeah. here. Uh -huh. So we're going to go right out this door. Okay. All right, now we're looking Oh, at... I tripped. I'm so sorry. Oh, here, let me... Yep. You good? Thank you, thank you. Close up. So, oh, okay. okay, so yes. here, here, here. Yeah. You got some dust. Oh, just, oh, thank you You so have to get used to the dirt. Just okay. let it... What I find to be the most helpful is that... When you work with a group of people you can trust, you can just you know implicitly just trust them to to not screw you over or hurt you or make you more uncomfortable than you need to be. You can you can really just let the scene flow better. You know you can just let them take control and know that wherever it's going to go, you're going to be okay with it. One, One two, two, three, happy Henry. days, happy days, Henry. Okay. One, two, three, One, two, three. England, England, what, wait, is it England? England and Ron England. and Ron. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh this no. Not gonna go well. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> One, two, three. Please leave. Oh! 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 So the way I see it is improv also helps you build life skills. How to work with other people, how to be on a team, how to adjust accordingly. And also, it just provides a nice recreational outlet for people who I personally really enjoy performing on stage. And so improv really allows me to get some of that out. And so. Like, I look forward to improv every Monday from 7 to 9, just like, yeah, I can go to improv and perform on stage and do all these games because I always have fun with it. That's the important thing is yeah, I fun. always definitely. enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. It's, a lot of it is having fun. Yeah. Hey, what's that guy? Is that guy hopping over there? What do you miss who says obvious fucking things all the time? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so who knows the ABCs backwards in Latin? I do. do? CYXWQFT358. Is that the whole Latin alphabet? Don't really leave. That's the point. You're always talking riddles to me. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> you tell me to come in. You tell me to leave. You tell me to get you pregnant. You tell me not to get you pregnant. I never told you. You tell me not to shoot guns thing. in our house. I can't keep track of it all, damn it. I'm going to leave. But I'm taking the beer with me. Good. Take um, it. You take if it. If you can say yes, like, all right, I'm going for it. And have no fear, um, you're, you're golden. Because confidence is, is a lot of it, yeah. I think. I mean, if you're, because if you're sheepish on stage, it, 
it, it shows sucks, off. It, well, and it sucks the energy out of the audience. It goes, oh, no, you really don't feel happy. The first week when we stepped in the first workshop, I was so concerned about looking cool and being funny. And then I realized that nothing was going to happen if I was just editing myself and being super self-conscious. So just going in and be yourself. But, like, be the self that is not shaped for anybody. You just go in and act and don't think. And the only way you really get good at improv is you know, you keep doing it and keep forcing yourself to kind of be uncomfortable. I guess that's like the best word for it. And then once you kind of break that, it's, you know, you're golden. Good. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tell me who's in the